Okay, welcome back everybody to another space astronomy. Uh, as you can see, my area has changed. I have emptied out all of the area around oops, all of, around the uh, the inside of my little castle. As you notice, I kind of floated. Um, I do have a jetpack now. I made it so that uh, It's a little noisy, but I made it so I could build it easier. I'll show you some other changes I've made. So obviously you have this one. Um, should light that up. Just so things don't spawn down here. Or here. I really like the hover mode on this one. You hold perfectly still. You move a little slower, but yeah. Um, I've got these grimstone blocks, and they look really cool. You'll also notice I'm using a texture pack. I think this is like uh, what is this one called? Um, can't remember what that meant. Whatever. Um, crap. Well, that sucked. Uh, anyway, it's like it's like the equivalent, like the John Smith or something. But this is my castle now. I changed the outside a little bit. Um, gave a little more character to it. Added the fires on top, but not a lot of stuff. Uh, to recharge my jetpack. I just throw it in this little storage tank. Doesn't seem to want to show that it's actually going down, but it is. Um, so while this is turned off, this can still produce hydrogen um, that's needed for everything. Like we've got a backup now of ethylene, so. We are good there. I'm not sure why we have this little backup of ethylene, but we do. Um, maybe I'm not. I had a creeper blow up, and I didn't. Maybe I didn't get things set up right. Thought I did though. Maybe I've got that wrong. Here's my configurator. Be set to. There we go. Now that's full again. Awesome. So, yeah. Um, I'd like to string this power into our main base, but there's a Quantum Quantum Entangler Porter. These are just like tesseracts, except for they are for therm uh, whatever this one was we're playing with. But I want to do some upgrades first, so um, I still use this. Zip lines if I obviously don't have my jetpack. But this makes getting around a lot better. I 
like it. So that's our base now. Um, and of course I can always use my glider. We to get around. So, yeah. Um, I do want to fix how the power is coming in, but for right now, this is going to have to work still. I like these lights. They're fancy. I like the water. Anyway, point is, I like what's going on here. Uh, so today, we have all this cool stuff, but our power is still limited. I mean, we could hook that up. Um, but we need a way to get items from here to a storage facility. Um, I'd like to store everything in here. I always like the idea of having like a power plant and a factory and stuff for processing. But I don't want to build another big building, especially when this one's so empty. <laughs> So maybe we'll just put everything inside here. What do you think? Doesn't matter what you think, I'm going to do whatever I want. Mostly because I uh, record these every time I play, so... Well, not every time, obviously. Give me a minute, I'm going to think about what I want to do and I'll be right back. Well. There's a blood moon tonight. I have armored up. I've got my atomic disassembler. We're going to play. That's what we're going to do. I haven't had a blood moon in a while. We'll see how effective these lights are keeping monsters at bay. stars. Oh no, I broke it. That's not good. Broke my thing. My plan is I'm going to start off with getting that power up to here. We're going to use some high voltage wires. I'm going to bring the power into here. I'm going to make some changes inside the base, make it look prettier, better, prettier. And uh, and I think we're going to work on some power production to increase our power. After I kill monsters. Oh, yeah. There it is. Ow. <laughs> yes. Okay, where are you at? shooting me with arrows. It's not very nice. Okay. Thanks, but I didn't need the help. I'm gonna go back inside. I just want to have some fun in the blood moon. Makes it really hard to see. Okay, that can all go in there.
Okay. Um, so I want to make some high voltage stuff, but obviously we need to. Obviously, we don't need to do anything. We need to do a couple things. We need to make some steel. Let's just put that in there. Looks like we're out of coal, charcoal. Okay, um, we have the aluminum, we're going to need some sticks. Make plenty of sticks. That'll give us the high voltage wire. We're going to need some connectors. Aluminum and hardened clay. Uh, that's all coal coke. Okay. There's a machine I need to build now. The injection chamber. So the chemical injection chamber, is that what I was looking for? chemical injection. Right there. Wow, that's expensive. Gold purification chamber? I haven't even made one of those yet. Hmm. Let's go for a trip. Gonna leave home behind. This way. I'm going to look for a mesa biome. Now that we can get around a little bit faster. I'll be back if I find one. Well, didn't find a mesa biome, but I found a, a village. Pillage. Wow. I'll do that in the morning. Okay. We're safe. What do we got in here? Looking for anything useful. Nothing there. 
Anchor Smeltery if I ever want to use it. I think this is a big old water. Yes. I don't want to make one of these. I'll just steal it. This is a water tank for Agricraft. Very useful. I like the way they designed that. Yes. Okay. Leave all that stuff. Let's see what's up in this house, and then I'll. Bookshelves. I will raid those. Don't really plan on coming back, so. Okay. Back on my journey for a Mesa biome. Okay, so I didn't find a Mesa biome. I mean, I went everywhere. All the way down here, and then over, and then up, and then over, and around, and back home. What I did do, I found melons. Okay, you find melons. I made melons. Agricraft is awesome. So if you have a fully grown pumpkin inside of a crop stick, and a fully grown carrot inside of a crop stick, and you have a crossbar on this crop stick, there's a 20% chance that a melon will spawn here rather than a carrot or a pumpkin. So once I finally got my melon, I spread it out and I could check the seeds on all of these and blah 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 blah. Point is, I have melons. I have a source of melons. And I have some netherrack and I have some aluminum. So we're good. So why did I just spend time trying to get melons. Well, here's why. We need a disassembler. Okay. We need this guy. And this guy, decomposer. Pistons, eight pistons, block of iron. Eight thirty-two bunch of wood. And some redstone. Make a piston. Three. Oh, we didn't have enough iron. Yeah, we'll do that first. And nine. We. There we go. Is that thing? I mean, eight more iron. Now I remember on the server I was playing on, I had one of these too. Uh, how much medium voltage stuff do I have left? Okay, we got enough. We'll stick this guy. Actually, we'll stick him right there. Do you get power? No. There. 
I have power. Now I needed the melons. Um, stick them in here and we get water. What do you do with water? Well, water you put back in here. Get hydrogen and oxygen. Which we need for hydroxide. Now I could just bucket water in there, but that's neither here nor there. Okay, so that was the point of that. With some hydroxide, I think I need my synthesizer now. We need another one of those. Awesome. Eight plus nine is eighteen. Just seventeen, seventeen. Eight. Any of that. I have a diamond. Six iron. Now we have our synthesizer. Now I believe we need a uh, I think we need a recipe. How do I get the recipe for hydroxide, though? I need that book. Um, a journal, glass, and a book. I happen to have lots of books. And a piece of glass. I need a microscope, which is a lot of glass. This guy. I need two convex lenses. We need a concave lens. Then we need this thing. And some iron. Oh, it's a glass pane. Okay. I don't think we need this to have power. Press the switch on the right to toggle between recipes for a decomposer and the synthesis machine. How do I get or make hydroxide? Hydrogen, hydroxide. can just decompose that. Looking for an item that might have it in it. Huh, okay. 
What if we just stick it in the synthesis machine? One of those, one of those, awesome. That'll give us hydroxide. Now we have the recipe for it. Okay. Now we have oxygen, we have water. We need another rack. This will all make sense. Okay, so that gives us silicon and oxygen and iron. Get rid of it all. Tungsten, huh? Okay, so we got silicon, we have hydroxide, we need some aluminum. See what it has in it. Just aluminum. And apparently chromium. Okay, plenty of aluminum now. And we need some more water. So let's go get some more watermelons. Make them grow faster. And grow. All right. Give me all your melons. Okay, ready for this? Because this is going to be cool. And that gives us eight. Now, it's a little bit of a process, but if we take five water, two silicon, and two aluminum, and four hydroxide, That should have worked. Oh, I need kale and I crappity crap crap. Okay, how do I make kale and I? Where is that? This is how you do it. Okay, hang on. I can't remember. I'm making clay. Hydroxide four. Two two five. Oxygen is five, not water. Okay, so I got that wrong. Pull that out. Okay. There we go. Kaolinite. And a kaolinite. If I just stick a thing in here, we get two clay. So that time I'm going to be making some clay. And that mostly came from the use of my watermelons. So, that's what I'm going to be doing between episodes, making clay. So sorry for the little bit of a rambly episode, uh, not getting a lot done. But we did start into some chemical synthesis, not chemical synthesis, mine chem. That's the words. And uh, 
a little bit of agri-craft going on. I changed my texture back. I don't think I like this one better. And, uh... Yeah, I just think I like this better. The other one's cool, but it was a little laggy and whatever, so... Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm gonna get working on some farming going on. Um, I need to find a permanent place for farms to go. Like a greenhouse or something. Because we're gonna need the tree farm. We're gonna wanna go kill that Enderman. tree farm of a couple different variants. I think down there I'm going to do a lot of farming. Got a lot of space for it. Um, yeah, tree farm, mellow farm for a couple different reasons. Uh, for making clay and for making power. We're going to need a reed farm. And I want a hemp farm. So, a couple different farms we're going to need. Plus, we need to fill up our castle with stuff. So, Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I shall see you next time. This is cool. Give little particle effects. I will see. Just want to have a mode for a minute. Okay, appear and disappear. Yeah. So, see you next time. Until then. Have fun.